Hello and welcome to Wild Owl TV. Now, as we slowly get into spring, and it's still very cold today, but as the weather warms up, we'll all be noticing a lot more uh, butterflies and moths in the garden. And I thought I'd uh, just do a little uh, video here today to draw your attention to a very, very good uh, conservation charity called Butterfly Conservation. Now, butterfly conservation are probably not widely known um, in the general public in the same way as the RSPB is and some of the owl charities, um, but it is actually a brilliant charity. And when you join butterfly conservation, you get a really, really good membership pack. And that membership pack um, is really worth having if you want to learn more about helping butterflies and moths in the garden. Um, and of course, if you um, would like to put some of your money into conservation and perhaps put it in a, in a direction um, with a charity which perhaps isn't getting as much support as some of the obvious ones. Now, some of the big bird charities um, spend a lot of money, one in particular spends a huge amount of money promoting themselves and it really is run like a business. And I have to say, I'm always very sceptical about um, some of these big charities because you know they've got paid staff and a lot of the money that um, goes towards them from membership is actually paying people and it's paying advertising and it's paying for a lot of other things and not necessarily um, going directly to helping the species in all parts um, where it's needed. It's, it's much more selective and that's why I actually don't belong to many organisations. I, I do my own work because I want to really make a difference to the animals I don't particularly want to make um, these big organisations rich and powerful. However, there is, without shadow of doubt, um, some uh, benefit to charities being large because they then can influence government. But, from my experiences, um, some of the decision makings and some of the examples that are set are questionable. So, generally, as a rule, I don't really do it. However, um, the smaller charities I think are definitely worthy of um, mentioning and Butterfly Conservation is one of those charities and that is why I'd like to talk to you about it today. Now we love butterflies, everybody loves butterflies and yet would you actually consider joining a butterfly charity and supporting, more importantly supporting a butterfly charity and this is a very good charity. Now I'm going to hold my hands up here and say that last year I took advantage of a special offer and I didn't pay for any of this. And I have to say I'm wracked with guilt about that, but I did send them some money a couple of years ago when I joined. But things always tight money-wise with me. A lot of what I do, as you'll be aware, it doesn't bring in any income. Um, so I did take advantage of a membership offer, but I will be renewing my membership and sending them my money. Um, but boy, oh boy, do you get some great stuff with butterfly conservation. So let me show you. Now this is my membership pack that actually arrived through my door. Uh, I can't remember what it was, about September time, doesn't say, oh, where's the postmark? Uh, oh, there we go, November, 7th of November. So, of course, at that time, there weren't many butterflies flying around my garden. And I wanted to wait until um, I was going to do this video to open this with you and show you what they send you. Because I'll tell you what, the membership cost, and I'll remind you of this at the end of this broadcast, but the membership cost for butterfly conservation is £3 a month. Okay, that's £36 a year or £40 a year, i.e. £3.33 a month for a joint membership. So the first one was a single or a joint, or if you had a family membership, it's £44 a month, which is £3.66 a month. Let me show you what you get for that, because I'll tell you what, it is fantastic. So, I know what's in here because I've already had this. So this is the welcome pack that you get when you join Butterfly Conservation. Now, it may be slightly different now as I'm doing this in April 2018, but I'm quite sure it's going to be very, very similar. So, of course, you get your um, welcome letter. And, in fact, the president is Sir David Attenborough. And uh, I know he's a big supporter of butterfly conservation, uh, as are people like Chris Packham and what have you. So you've got your covering letter. Uh, it reminds you that you've got a local branch, which is Somerset in Bristol. And then the first thing that you get is a wonderful magazine. So this is the Summer 2017 Butterfly Magazine. And although they call themselves Butterfly Conservation, it is actually Butterfly and Moth Conservation. And I know that I noticed somewhere that they were um, suggesting that maybe they should change their name. Um, but look at the oops, look at the quality 
of the information that you have in here. The, the, this publication is really, really lovely. It has lots of different articles about some of the reserves that they have where you can see butterflies and moths. They're often places that you don't get lots of people um, going around a bit different to the bird reserves where there's always photographers going. On these butterfly reserves, we, me and Jackie, my partner, we went to one last year. Beautiful day in Gloucestershire and there were some great butterflies and nobody else was there. And it was a butterfly conservation res reserve. So they're looking here at, at moths and um, how to separate the blues, all this sort of information. So that is brilliant. And that is a, um, a publication that will come out, um, I suppose it's quarterly, I'm not quite sure myself. What else do we get? Um, tells you about the different branches of butterfly conservation that there is currently. Um, so we've got them here in Gloucestershire um, and um, Devon, Dorset, South Wales, Somerset and Bristol. So depending where you live in Bristol, you need to get a Gloucestershire or, or the um, Somerset and Bristol. And then we get into the really good stuff. Garden moths, some common species. And this is a publication, beautiful full colour. Look at this. This is fantastic. And it's basically some wonderful photos with IDs on various um, moths. And it's a double-sided publication. So you get that. That is brilliant. <coughs> That's going into my collection, although I have to say I do have one of these already from the last time. What else have we got here? Butterfly Conservation Reserves. Now, as I say, we've been to um, a couple of their reserves and they have reserves in different places. Now, supporting butterfly conservation um, does mean that, of course, it's given them funds and given them memberships to influence um, decision policy making at government but also of course the funds to eventually buy land and then they can convert that land with the help of volunteers into reserves um, so there's all sorts of reserves in the Midlands, South East of England, North of England um, and in the South West um, we've got uh, some in Gloucestershire, there's Presbury Hill in Gloucestershire, Rough Bank Gloucestershire where we went um, and some in Devon and that. It's a great day out. Take your camera and um, visit these places. So it tells you about the reserves, tells you about uh, the butterflies and the moths maybe that you can find on those reserves. And I'm just having to give you one example. Um, Rough Bank, which I know was one we went to. If I can find it. <laughs> I wish I had done this now. There we go, Rough Bank. Okay then, so Rough Bank is in Gloucestershire, uh, 18 hectares, and um, it's in the Dilly Brook Valley um, in the Cotswolds. And the key species there are small blue, chalk hill blue, Adonis blue, common blue, brown argos and green hair streak. All very rare butterflies, very specific to the habitats there, as well as of course your marbled white um, and your brimstone and all those sorts of uh, other, sorry, brimstone butterflies and brimstone moths I'm sure. Lots of moths as well. So that's brilliant. Well worth it. Um, there's um, them encouraging you to do a legacy, which of course you get with all charities. And um, what have we got here? Um, tell us a little bit more about the work. <laughs> They give you some postcards. Look at this. Beautiful Chalk Hill Blue postcard, Scarlet Tiger, Tiger, comma, Marsh Retillery. So how good is that? That's just really, really nice. So that's something that you can send to your very special friends that appreciate wildlife. Um, there are also some Christmas raffle 2017 <laughs> tickets. So that's what, sorry about that, but uh, I don't usually promote those sorts of things. I'm a bit shy for that. And then look at this, a gardening book. This is a book by Kate Bradbury, Butterfly Conservation. Now, you know, you'd pay five pounds for this in the shops. And um, this is a book that shows you what you can do to help butterflies in the garden. And moths, of course, caterpillar, food plants. Um, there's an introduction there, looking at the garden tiger, and scarlet tiger moth, butterfly or moth. Um, because it's new, it's a bit uh, foldy. Gardening with children. Um, got some things here how you can uh, pot up plants it really is superb fantastic booklet and that's that's also something that is really really valuable you get a car sticker now that's got to be worth three pound a month I like colorful car stickers and this car sticker is actually really really colorful oops go the right way around there we go butterfly conservation car sticker um, the voting form, annual general meeting, oh, like all that, we don't want to get into that, do we? Um, and then the annual review, which again, if you want to know all about those sorts of things, it does tell you, of course, though, where your money's going um, and tells you about the nature reserves and basically what, how, how this charity um, is moving forward um, because as a charity, you have to obviously be very transparent. So I reckon that's fantastic. There's no other 
um, conservation, a butterfly conservation charity that I know I'm aware of, not that I you know, tried to join all of them, but um, I don't think you beat this in terms of a package and setting you up for information on butterflies. And of course you will get um, another one of their uh, magazines through as well. So look at all this, you get all of this for your money. Now I've got absolutely no vested interest in this charity. I don't even know anybody in the charity so I'm not doing this for any other reason other than I just think it's fantastic. Well done butterfly conservation. Um, so all of that for, is that showing on the video? Yeah I think it is. All of that for your membership. That's brilliant. So if you do want more information their website is butterfly-conservation.org okay and uh, like I say sometimes they have promotions but you know they need to have money and uh, like I say I, I, I've paid out my annual membership in the past I did get this for free but this is kind of like a duplicate set um, but it's brilliant and through the year I'll be posting lots of videos about butterflies in the garden and in particular moths and once you get into moths boy oh boy oh boy it is amazing really really interesting subject um, so you know, like I say, once the, the bird life dies down, you can really get yourself um, involved in helping and um, attracting moths and butterflies into your garden. And it's brilliant for children as well because they can safely go in the garden. You don't need expensive binoculars and expensive cameras and stuff like that. It's simple to attract these insects into your garden with just planting some uh, different plants, which of course the books and publications here will give you a guideline. So there we go little thing about butterfly conservation look it up and it's certainly a very good option if you're thinking about um, supporting a conservation charity so I hope you like that um, I hope that's information and useful for you and yeah I'm glad I've opened it now it's been sat there for six months waiting for me to do this see you again on Wild Owl TV and maybe I'll tell you about Bat Conservation Trust in the future because that's another fantastic membership pack for the Bat Conservation Trust, some really, really good stuff there. And Bumblebee Conservation, that's another really good one. There's some really good charities that send, send some fantastic information. When you actually support these charities, maybe do one this year, one next year, um, you'll end up with a nice library of good quality uh, information from the experts. And these are the experts, Butterfly Conservation. And finally, just to finish off, I belong to a um, Facebook group which is called um, Gloucestershire Moths. And they are a lot of butterfly conservation members and they do, sometimes they do butterfly conservation and moth um, and butterfly events. And they're a really um, friendly, helpful group of people. So they're on Facebook and um, they've been a great help to me because I'm getting into moths and I don't know much about moths at all. And they're really helping me, particularly with the photographs that I'm taking. <laughs> I'm not sure how to ID them. So you might want to look them up um, on the internet. And um, just very quickly, I will just look at my... Um, my phone and I'll tell you what the proper name of the group is. There we go, Gloucestershire Moths. So Gloucestershire Moths, okay, on Facebook, look them up, ask to join and you'll learn a lot and if you ever have any questions, some lovely people there that will help you. So thanks for watching Wild Owl TV, see you soon. Bye!